I started Lazy Jack Press when I had graduated from law school. I didn't want to do pin dots and stripes and plaids. I wanted to make an irreverent motif, and that's when I had the idea for the red party cup tie. I know you wanted the hanging gloves. Something that's really special about Lazy Jack Press is I name every single tie. Some are cheekier than others. You know, I have Irish car bombs, little stethoscopes, little eagles, and it's called the spread eagle. <laughs> They're made in Italy on the finest silk and the cheeky little names set it apart from the other brands. I really like Colors. the color though. <laughs> I first launched Lazy Jack Press because my dad was an entrepreneur and I wanted to follow in his footsteps. Unfortunately, my dad died 11 years ago from pancreas cancer. We'd always go up to his closet and shuffle through all of his ties, the ones that I had picked out. Oftentimes it wouldn't match at all. He would put it on and go to work anyway. <laughs> My dad was so supportive of me, but my business has caused a rift between my mom and I. She's really disappointed in me for not continuing to be a lawyer. It makes me feel sad. I wish, you know, I wish my mom was proud of me. And then this one we just got in from Italy. Right now I sell my ties in Grand Central Market in New York, and then a little pop-up, and that's it. That one, great choice. If Lazy Jack Press fails, I will be devastated. I've put all my money into the brand. I've disappointed my mom with my life choices and basically then wasted four years when I could have been successful being a lawyer. I think to get my mom's approval, I would have to show her that I'm extremely successful. So I really need to get into more stores and definitely get a buy from Tillman. Billion Dollar Buyer. Premiere episodes Tuesdays at 10. CNBC. Get yours. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.